American Shakari Richardson ran the 100-meter run with the sixth best time in history. At the Tokyo Games, she will try to become the fastest woman on the planet. There was a mega sensation at a small event in the U.S. Austin. Shakari Richardson, 21, ran the 100-meter dash in 10.72. That is the sixth best time in the history of athletics. And if you subtract Marion Jones, who was soon caught doping, it's fifth. Only Jamaica's Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Elaine Thompson were faster than Richardson. So far, Richardson looks like the new Usain Bolt in a skirt. She's even doing the 200M with a phenomenal 22.00. And the American is only 21. She is now the clear favorite of the Tokyo Olympics and a contender to be the fastest woman on the planet. The first thing that catches the eye is that Shakari is extravagant. Such bright athletes in world sprints have not been present since the times of the legendary Florence Griffith Joyner. By the way, the young American is constantly compared to her. Richardson has bright hairstyles, always huge nails, and a lot of tattoos. Interestingly, she even uses a separate name for each hair color. When my hair is red, I'm Shakari. When I'm blonde, I'm Lene. And when I choose a natural dark color, I'm Lil C. Rich, explains the runner. Each color is for a different mood and state of mind. Red is powerful, dominant. When I want to calm down a little, I leave my hair dark. I'm blonde when I'm home in Texas or when I haven't been home for a long time and miss it a lot. Like many of her teammates, Richardson has a complicated family history. She was abandoned by her mother as a child, and in high school the girl tried to commit suicide. The American grew up in Texas, but has been living and training in Florida for two years. Richardson's star lit up in college sports where she smashed all records back in 2019. Before the World Championships in Doha, the 19-year-old American announced that she was turning pro, meaning she got the opportunity to officially earn as a professional athlete. And she also fell under the responsibility of WADA. After all, there is no doping testing on this line in the University League. Richardson changed her status at the same time as her peer, pole vaulter Mondo Duplantis. But their careers so far have taken different turns. Duplantis broke the world record, won World Championship Silver and the European Championships. Richardson, on the other hand, failed to qualify for the U.S. national team in Doha in 2019, showing only 11.15 in the 100-meter dash. By comparison, just two weeks earlier, she had run the same distance in 10.75 at the NCAA Collegiate Tournament. All of this, of course, contributes to a certain suspicion. Especially the Shaw Carey case is not an isolated one. The NCAA does not recognize the World Anti-Doping Code, which has its own anti-doping program. Not all of the American students who fall under the WADA's doping control system prove their potential later on. The fact that Richardson is coached by Dennis Mitchell, the Olympic champion of Barcelona 92 in the 4x100 meter relay, also does not help her credibility. In 1998, near the end of his career, he was disqualified for elevated testosterone levels. Mitchell's explanation went down in history as one of the most anecdotal. Future coach Richardson attributed the excess testosterone to drinking five beers and having sex with his wife at least four times right before his tryout. It was her birthday, so the woman deserved a nice gift, Mitchell said at the hearing. Dennis was not believed and disqualified for two years. And many years later, in 2008, he had to appear as a witness in the case of his former rival, Trevor Graham. The same mentor, Justin Gatlin, who became a key figure in the Balco lab case. And Mitchell admitted that Graham himself had given him growth hormone injections. This statement had no legal implications. So Mitchell continues to work, and now stands a good chance of bringing Olympic gold from Tokyo with his student. If Richardson, of course, manages to show her results at qualifying. For now, her main task is to forget about the failure of two years ago, and to confirm at the main start the same fast seconds that she had at the small tournaments.